assassins do not have honour. Ashley, I'm sorry, I didn't mean... to me. Please. I know Malvina's banishment from the Helios was painful. My leader has banished my name from the Book of the Helios. She has defied her own order. I know her true self. The Helios cannot survive without me. I am the heart of the Helios. Wisdom is in the light of magic. Magic has its roots in nature. Embrace these gifts, for only then can light be brought to a whisper from the dark. We must all follow the light now, Coral. It is not a time for new alliances. We must fight. Fight for what we believe in. Yes, Bradbur. We must all be true. Wait. The Earthmail James is more important to the realm than you know. His blood is the blood of the Selim. Madoc's blood courses through him. A Selim heir? Now, Madoc's children are all dead. A Selim heir could be a problem. What a shame, Coral. I did enjoy you so. I can't believe that Dustin was never your friend. He lied to you, yes, but he still looked out for you. To keep me in his sights. He was a spy from this realm where Sorsha comes from. Nothing more. Whatever you choose to do about this deception will be on you. Why? Why me? Why was Dustin watching over me? It doesn't make sense. It's like I'm part of this. But I can't be. I'm just... I'm just me. Have you considered the possibility that there might be more? More what? More magic? More stories? More people showing up from distant worlds with no name? Yeah, I have. But I have no idea how to protect myself or Sorsha. James, have you considered that Dustin entering into your life and Sorsha's mother sending her here for protection might be connected? 
I mean, I have no idea. It's probably a world I'm never going to see. I don't know. Is it one of them? I have had enough of your complaints. I say you Hey, hey, hey. Ashley, please. Don't touch me. I'm fine. I'm clearly fine. Enough! Are you hurt? No, James. I'm all right. Those wounds need to be looked at. No, 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 my dear. By a medical practitioner. A doctor? I despise doctors. You cannot help a professor. She will not accept help from anyone. Do you want to fight, Harbinger? You can barely walk, Ashley. I can stand to fight you. Give it a rest. Think about what I said, James. All I can think about right now is how annoying those girls are right now. Girls! Madoc Tynan. The council grows concerned over whispers that we are hearing. Your protector, Tegan Nadrog, is nowhere to be found. His sister, Cayenne, seems to come and go as she pleases. And there are rumors of a harbinger that has been created. Surely that is something you should have brought up with the council? You waste my time for whispers? Consider your options, Madoc. Without an heir, the Tynans will lose their claim to the leadership. Without my protection, the council members would kill each other. Is that truly what you want, Declan? After all, there are many on the council who have plotted your demise. Teagues are an honored family. <laughs> honored. <sighs> the Teagues have always hidden behind us. It is best to let leaders handle problems. The Council will want assurances that our leader has not faltered. Careful, Declan. The Selene do not show fear. That weakness is left to the Helios. Power is strength. Perhaps it is you who should consider your options. You are our leader. Get that. From your apartment. Do you like it? I believe it was Cassie's. She has good taste. <laughs> you have gained strength, Tegan. I am amused. So what's the plan, sister? Stay in Madoc's shadow? Nothing has changed, brother. I... We... will kill Madoc and destroy Bradware's precious Helios. The realm will belong to our family, the Nadrogs, as it was meant to be. You must stay close to James, Tegan. He is our leverage. Madoc does not know about his son being alive. <clears throat> he 
he can never know, not until it serves our purposes. You stay away from James Cayenne. You think Madoc and Melvina are just going to sit by and watch you take over the realm? We know their secrets, brother. Mother told me before she died. Mother was obsessed with Madoc and his secrets. Madoc gains more favor from the people. And where's our family? The Nadros have lost power on the Selene Council. You question me now? I have done more for this family than anyone! You took my post as protector, and you threw me down to this, this world. I watched the Selene air. I did all I was sent to do. You have to end this now. You've already lost. I should go and tell Madek about your lies, sister. It'll do you some good to learn obedience. <laughs>